Hello, welcome to Winter Disco Tabletop Gaming. It's Sam here, and we're checking out the Warhammer Preview Online Unboxing Dominion. Whoa, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty psyched for this. Um, I've already done a reaction to the trailer, which you can check down there in the top corner or in the description. Um, we're playing the unboxing video, I guess, at the moment, which is showing off the models. Yeah, I... I didn't get up to watch it because it was 3 o'clock in the morning for me and all, all that, but I woke up about 4, 4.30 and just, uh, what am I thinking, hazily and cloudily and sleepily just scan through the page and watch all the trails and I was like, okay, I need to sleep and come back to this because there's a lot I've got to talk about here. So much so, I'm breaking this down into a few videos. So this video will be looking at the preview itself, um, the box and all the models, and then we're going to break down each of the different factions, so the Stormcast and the new... Krulex, what are they called again? I can't even remember. We'll talk about that in a second. Because there's, they showed off some extra models that aren't in the Dominion box. So, the Dominion box, what is it? This box is essentially, if you think of the Indomitus box for 9th edition 40k, which had new Space Marines and new Necrons, this is the Indomitus box for Age of Sigma, for Age of Sigma 3rd edition. I think that's a perfect way to look at it. So I imagine these are all gonna be uh, monopose models, sprues specifically made for this box so we got stormcast on one side and some new orcs on the other side so let's scroll down the page and have a look like i said i have reacted to the trailer so you can check the description for that um, but here are some shots from the trailer itself some very very cool shots like i do recommend going to watch the reaction video and then watching um the trailer yourself because seriously if you love the indomitus one that they did it's essentially that for age of sigma but far far more brutal and you it's got me going for the stormcast eternals now always found them weird but i'm into it now so the box itself like i've said i've shown the trailer um i've seen some of the models here but let's have a look directly so here's a nice image of it check it out look at that um yeah so we're getting 21 stormcast eternals it's actually 22 if you look down in the bottom corner there, bottom left corner, there's a dead one. So we usually get 22. 39 Cruel Boys Oryx. I can remember if they were Cruel X or Cruel Boy. I don't know why I thought Cruel X, but Cruel, Cruel Boys. So a new type of Orc, which is very interesting. Um, you can already see that they look slightly different to other Orcs. And you can see the images there, which you would have seen in the trailer as well, that they're much more upright and lanky and mmm, they're Mm, I like them. I like them. We also get an exclusive launch edition core rulebook, which you can see in the background there with that stunning art. I mean, that art is just absolutely stunning. And we've seen some images of that previously. And then we get a 24 page booklet to get started, 14 wall scrolls for everything in the box and two allegiance ability cards. So what we're going to do the rest of this video is just go through the models in the box. We're going to do it fairly quickly because I'm trying to get this video out. This is sort of just an overview of the box itself. So, Stormcast Eternals. We've already seen the Andrasto, the Celestial Spear. This model's been shown off. I've talked about it previously. I'm still on the fence about this model. I love the base. Like, I love that terrain. It makes me just want to go build some of this new terrain, this new style of terrain, like swampy swamp terrain. I really do love it. So I'm like up in the air about this. Again, like I love the wings. I want to take those wings and put them on. Some really cool blood angels, but you know, we'll do what we can. I do actually really love the sword. I love the hard edges of that, which you don't so much get with Stormcast. It's very much curvy edges, as you can see here. Like even the hard edges are curved in some way. So we get that model there, which is what we've seen. We get the Lord Imperitant with Griffhound. This dude is the one that we saw in the trailer. Like I said, if you haven't seen it, check the description because you can go watch it. And my reaction. Um, Basically, monopose model, giant hammer and a staff or saber or something, whatever you want to call it, with different heads. I, I like, I like it. The head itself, like the helmet is, and he's so much insignia because that's the Sigma symbol, apparently. Um, it matches his face. <laughs> I really like that. The fact he sculpted the mask as himself, <laughs> or he's making his facial hair look like Sigma. And something i've seen on twitter his face looks a bit like um gandalf the gray i'll get off the white it depends what you want to say yeah interesting think about it hmm has like a griffin 
cape, which is really nice. I love the feathers. I want to do that. And we have a Griffhound, who has a little Hammer of Sigma on there. You cute boy. A little, little cute boy. Yeah. Like, not a huge amount of detail, but I do love the new streamlined design of these ones. I've always found the original Stormcast Eternals, and I have one in front of me right now. Something about them, they just felt too bulky. Like, I think the head was too far down, or the shoulder pads were too big. But, you know, that's what it is. Now we have the Knight Arcanum. I love this design. I love the face. Uh, not the face, the helmet, I should say. Seriously. I, it makes me want to do sort of almost a clockwork type thing. It reminds me of like um, automatons and clockwork type things from Dungeons and Dragons. It also makes me want to paint the whole armor white. <laughs> um, so I will definitely be using that head. So this is a Knight Arcanum, uh, the Keeper of Ancient and Forbidden Law. Knights Arcanum are eccentric wizards who are able to harness, harness and channel the fulminating power of their fellow warriors to bring to enemies of Sigma. So we got that one too. We'll get, well, like I said, we're going to come back and really go into a lot more detail about these models. So then we have the Knight Vexilor with Banner of Apotheosis. Obviously, I love banners. Um, one thing I don't like about this model is this thing is not straight. The pole is not straight at all. <laughs> it's really off-putting to me. Um, but we do get a Banner Boy. Because let's be honest, they're space marines. <laughs> We've got to have banners. It seems to be like every new release now, you've got to have like a banner man, a um, a magic man or magic girl, and a few other bits and pieces. So, you know, it's a cool banner though. Then we have the Praetors. These are the elite bodyguards. So we'll quickly look through here. So this is like the new style armor, which I really do like. I prefer it so much more. I think it really was the shoulders that I found really off-putting previously. So I like how there's less bulk up in the shoulders. We also get Annihilators, which they do have the big armor, but that's what these guys are for. They're hulking goliaths. So we have seen some of these. I think we've seen one of these previously. I think it might have been this one that we've seen. So I don't mind if some of them are really hulky armor. That's fine. I can deal with that. But generally speaking, I like how they're a bit more lithe and a bit more, um, they feel a bit more free flowing and they can move around. And you really see this in the Vindicators. So these have spears and shields. And yeah, I, again, like I said, I like the design and I really think it was the shoulders that were really off putting. And this guy has a banner. See, this one's a bit more straighter. It's not perfectly straight, but you know, it is what it is. Lots of different heads, lots of different masks and Moses and things. And I really do like that. All right, let's continue on now. On to the new ones, the Cruel Boys Oryx. Yeah. Uh, we'll show the trailer in the specific video for the Cruel Boys because there's lots to say. And this sums up what they look like. They're more um, traditional fantasy style orcs that you would find in Dungeons and Dragons, um, Lord of the Rings. I very much got a Lord of the Rings vibe here. And because of that, they look far more menacing. And they're like the... Um, brutally cunning side of orcs where the other orcs that we currently have in the range are more cunningly brutal. So here we have the killer boss. This is a killer boss on great Nash tooth. Such a cool model. This one has an, uh, um, a Iago face. A Iago face. You, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean <laughs> and you won't see it differently again. Yeah, stunning. Absolutely love it. And I feel like I just want to talk about these models, but I want to save that for another video specifically about them. So we're gonna keep going on. Swamp Caller, Shaman, and Potcrot. The two best models. I love, he has this giant skull on his back, which would be like from a giant um, Kargan or something like that. Um, his cloaks are very swampy because they're from the swamps. They're very swampy. Um, little things hanging off everywhere and his cloak sort of exemplifies that. And we have the Potcrot who just makes potions and stuff. Very cute, I think. I think that's really cool. We have a killer boss with a stab grot. <laughs> I just love the little grots. I just want to have all of them have little offsiders. So there we have the 22nd uh, Stormcast Eternal. I really do love the shields. You can do some really cool paint jobs with that. Very cool armor. Like it's all sort of drippy. Like you have um, bits of things hanging off trees, like moss and fern and growths and things. So yeah. And then we have the Mork Knob with Belcher Banner. I feel like that banner does something. So you can see here, their faces are very different. They're much more humanoid in that they're more standing upright rather than their heads like hunched over down there. And you kind of get the, just from that pose, 
because they start to be more human, you start to realize they think a bit more humanoidish, I guess. I don't know, that's my that's my impression anyway. So we have the Manskewer Bolt Boys. This is one of my favorite weapons. I love this. Like huge. It's a huge bolt gun. Or a bolt thrower or something. It's just absolutely huge. I love how all their armor is just sort of stitched together in weird ways. Bits of armor just like um, melded together, welded together, I should say. Yeah, they just so good. And you see, I think in the trailer, the um, the weapons aren't as good, but in these models, so good. Then we get some more. We've got gut rippers. So these are the close fighters. Again, these shields are freaking amazing. They really are. And there has been a lot of attention to detail, and I'm going to go more into what I specifically mean by that in the um, Cruel Boys video. But again, oh my god, I'm so excited to get this kit. There's just so much stuff here. Oh, the masks. So good, someone has a <laughs> missing an eye, it's being patched up. It's almost like these masks are alive themselves. I really love that. And the paint job on them is really good. And then we also have the Hobgrot Slitters, which I think are the last ones. So these are little boys. Um, they're kind of like hobgoblins, but they're tiny, tiny boys. And there's that hook that we've seen in the room engine. Very nice. So it looks like they have some close combat weapons. This guy has almost like a grenade. So they're probably, um, oh yeah, they do lob strange explosive devices. So it looks like they do a bit of everything. Cool banners or whatever you want to call this. Standards or something. Very nice armor. I love the riveted action there. That's really cool. We've got some more. He's got a drum, handmade drum out of metal and stuff. Yeah. Very, very nice. So you get a whole bunch of those too. All right, what else do we get? So that's, you know, models, like 60 models or something, brand new looking models. But we also get the rule book, which is that cover. That art is stunning. That's just poster worthy right there. I think definitely once they get posters out of this, they will sell really well, like in big sizes too. I definitely might pick one up. I think that's really cool. So huge, cool rule book. It's 360 pages. Um, it's got all the new backgrounds. So I'll have a whole bunch of maps and lore and everything in all the rules and I imagine that the rules will be more set out like uh, Ninth Edition 40k was that it's more streamlined there's more um, dot points so you can find out exactly what they mean so you have a paragraph a description and then you have a few dot points of like exactly what it means so there's no ambiguity absolutely no ambiguity at all and I think they've really made an effort to do that to make sure that everything is so crystal clear so I'm hoping that they do that for this rule set because I don't actually play Age of Sigma it's kind of, I want to play that a little bit more, I think, than um, 40k. Maybe a little bit. We also have the Start Here book, which is the War at Amberstone Watch, which would probably be like a... I don't think it'll be like a how to play. Um, if we're comparing this to the Indomitus box, that wasn't a how to play guide. Like, it doesn't come with dice or anything like that, because it's not a starter set. Um, it'll just be like a campaign that you can play which is kind of cool. And then you get 14 War Scrolls, all the Stormcast Eternals and the Cool Boys, so all the new models. There we go. And then there is a video about the new rules. Um, I won't go into that too much because this channel really isn't rules focused. I kind of want to do some of that eventually, but I don't want to go into the rules because I don't want to give that wrong information. And then we have probably see a little second down here. What's next after Dominion? I'm not looking at that because I'm looking at directly at this box itself because um, there's a few models I want to show off and I'll show that off in the different faction videos. So there we go. Nice setup. I love that. Okay, so I really love the new um, swamp setting. It it makes me just want to make more terrain, like ruins of old ancient buildings in the swamp that are completely overgrown with jungly type things. And that's a very big motive and design cue through the uh, Cruel Boys, which you can see in... For example, in this one, we've got the little spikes coming up. We've got all the tangly bits down here. And I'm definitely going to be focusing on that when I go into the Cruel Boys video. So let's go back up to this one here. So this is what we get. I think it's going to be a fantastic box. Um, I think the Stormcast Eternal design is far improved, vastly improved. I love the new Orc design. I think it was this part of Orcs that was missing 
because remember that there's two kinds of two paths to orcs there is gork and walk so you have the cunningly brutal which is the existing orc range which are the big hulky ones that just bash your head in and then you have the um brutally cunning ones which are the smart boys they think about things rather than charging right in they'll sneak in so these these are the sneaky boys i really do like that so that's it let me know what you think what your favorite ones are i'm on the cool boy side can't help it green skins they're my jam <laughs> um yeah so let me know what you think so yeah if you've got this far thank you for watching hit that like button because there is going to be a lot of coverage of dominion and the new age of sigma range when i did the indomitus range last year that really started to kick the channel off so i'm interested to see um what we can do with dominion because it's a similar idea but for age of sigma so i'm interested to see what videos we can make like unboxings and build guides and paint guides and all that kind of stuff so yeah, if you want to see more of that, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification. And if you want, um, there'll be a card at the end of this, for like Facebook and Twitter. Um, you can jump on there and follow up all that kind of stuff. Okay, that's it. I'm out. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for getting this far and I will see you in the next video. Catch you later.